Aren't phone cameras just wonderful? I can take important pictures of myself, cats, food. But this camera has a lot of limitations. It's not a telescope and it's not a microscope. But what if it could be? Like, what if I could attach a telescope or a microscope and then see these images, not only see them, but take pictures or video of the stuff that these things are seeing right on my phone. And if they look kind of big, there's a smaller version. I felt weird in my bra, so I changed my clothes. Anyways, so these things work through an app. The app is called Tiny Scope. So once you got the app installed, the first thing you're gonna see on there are all the devices listed off. I'm gonna start with the microscope cam. So I'm gonna click on this and you see USB and Wi-Fi on there. Okay, so USB, you can connect the cable directly to the phone. There's a little adapter that you have to use. You connect it there and technically you should be able to use it that way, but it doesn't work for me because for whatever reason, the app doesn't really work with Android 10.0 or higher, which I think is most of us Android users at this point. The only way it does work for me is a second option down the list, which is Tiny Scope Cam Wi-Fi. And for this, you need a Wi-Fi box, which is included, but it doesn't come fully charged. So charge it up before you first use it. So once you've decided which option you wanna go with, USB or Wi-Fi, click on it. I'm gonna go with Wi-Fi and an instructional video will play and it's very easy to understand. So first up, I wanna play with the microscope, but check this out. There's a whole bunch of slides in here all ready to go so you can play with your microscope straight out of the box. So now that I installed everything through the app, I'm gonna turn on the Wi-Fi box. One click. You're gonna see a light right here. That is for battery life and that's for Wi-Fi. Once it's on, there's gonna be a really bright light coming from the microscope. In the very center of that bright light is the lens. Included are two Petri dishes. I didn't end up using them, not yet anyways, but if you want to, they go like this. Cat hair. It's just coming out like a big old blob. Once you got the slide facing the correct way, you can see that the cat hair well, it's right there. There it is. That's not the right way to use the slides. They go on top like this. I was just being lazy about it. Then the side comes off right here. It's on a magnet and goes oop, other way, right on top of the slide. There we go. Best cat video ever. Mm -hmm. Next, dandelion fuzz. Ever so. but you can also probably see her over here somewhere. But look at that. It kind of looks like a little sea creature. Uh, you can't, can't, I can't even see that, but it's called potato starch. And the last slide that they provided is honey bee wing. Ba-bam. Oh! No honeybees were injured in the making of these slides. Okay, so maybe I should move on to masks. There's some weird black speckles and what looks like a spider web. The cloth for cleaning the lens. Oh, look at that. Looks like carpet. There's my hair. Oh, that picked it up real quick, real nicely. That's what my hairs look like, sort of. I got some box lights surrounding me. This is what the fabric looks like. The microphone, which is right above me. We can test that one out next. Oh, that's neat. Look at that stuff. That is pretty cool. You want to see my bed, like, real close? Ooh, sexy. I don't think I should do this. I'm not gonna be too happy with the results. Uh, oh my god. Oh, guys. All right, that's enough microscope. I'm done with that. So I'm gonna click this, one, two, and it's off. So next up, the telescope. Minimum is 2.5 meters. That it has to be away from an object and it goes to infinity. That's what it says, yeah. So we'll see. It's 
So I'm going to click on this button right here and I can adjust focus manually or click right here and it'll do assist focus, but it takes a little bit of time. There we go. Now you can see that car in the distance. What I'm looking at is that tree right there. So now I got it pointed down into that nasty, dirty, wet hole of mine. It's a retention hole. The furthest thing I could think of is stars. So there's stars, hopefully on the sense of planet. So right now we're looking at the moon. Tonight it's below the clouds. At first I thought the clouds were interfering with the focus, so I waited for a moment where there were no clouds. And all I got was this glowing blob. It says the microscope reaches infinity, but this must have been beyond. As this video progresses, I'm going to be wearing more and more clothes. But if you'd like to see less clothes, check out my OnlyFans. There's still clothes, but there's less. So that teeny tiny tiny scope attaches right to the phone. There's a little sticker you peel off and it sticks right on there. So how I do is I turn on the flash and then with the camera on, try to get that right into the center even though it's gonna get really blurry. And I push it down. Does not work well with phone covers. I'm gonna be looking at a dragonfly wing. This is one of the slides that came in the box. They do include extra stickers for when the one on there wears out. And there's also rabbit hair. This is working out really good so far for me. So that's pretty cool. Now let's check out some rabbit hair. There it is, it's rabbit hair. Here's what the mask looks like under this one. So I'm gonna pop this off and then try the tip scope. I will definitely never lose this. So on the app it's called Beetle Macro Lens, but on here it says tip scope. All right, so I, it already fell off the camera. The tape on this, not the best. It doesn't magnify it as much, but the image is coming out nice and clear. I feel like it's a lot clearer than the other one. Unless maybe I mucked up the other one with my finger. I don't know, but there's a dragonfly wing. And here is the rabbit hair. There it is. I guess it's good for when you need to enlarge some text if you can't read it. Like right there. Green. All right, so there it all is. If you're interested in this stuff, check out the link below. If you're interested in my mom's ornament, check out the link below. <laughs> I spent too much time on this. It may not look like it, but I did. So before I go, I want to do a shameless little plug. My mom makes these beautiful crochet ornaments and you just got to check them out. You got to check them out. Well, you don't got to, but here they are anyway. <laughs> Mom's Etsy shop is called Hobbyist Crochet. So you can check out what she's got. And in real life, I think this stuff looks even better. Here's a little video of her actually working on it. I couldn't do this. I think I've tried it and meh. it's hard. <laughs> so that's it. Bye. Toodaloodaloo.